argue amongst yourself about pointing the gun at the camera or whatever. Whatever triggers you gun people, man. I don't, whatever. I can't believe I have to say this again for a second time. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna make some of you people look stupid. So when you see me pointing a gun at the camera like this, boom, this is where I'm standing, okay? I'm literally standing here looking at that. The gun is pointed there to my, to my ceiling. I'm literally standing at my workbench, stretch, arms outstretched, doing this. I'm not flagging myself. I'm not flagging anyone above me because there's literally nothing up above me. So, before you get your panties in a bunch, punching at your keyboards, embarrassing yourself about, don't point the gun at your face. Well, duh. Pop a pill, okay? Change your tampons. It'll be fine. I swear, man, you LCD HD TV people are the worst. This is my PSA Jackal. I decided to go with something a little different this time. Switch it up from my usual pistol purchase, which I've learned this is still a pistol. I'll never understand the two-way community. Anyway, this bad motor scooter is chambered in 300 blackout. Yeah, I'll just leave it here. 300 blackout. I purchased this as the most bare bones version I could find on PSA site. So it, it did not come with the optic, nor did it come with a brace or stock. All you get is the pistol <laughs> and one 30 round PMAG. Now, eventually I will get something chambered in 5.56. The only reason I went with the 300 blackout over the 5.6 Jackal, honestly, the barrel is shorter. That's the only reason. The barrel was shorter, it looked cooler. Sue me. And the battery on my camera is about to die. All right, let's see how far I can make it. As usual, I'm gonna make sure it is clear. Right, right, safety first which is gonna be difficult with this brace in my way. Swing this motor scooter out, locks in place, charge it back, and sweet. Clear, clear, still clear. Nothing in here, nothing in here. Perfectly clear. All right then, where was I? All right, as you can see, only thing I've gotten for this so far since purchasing it, I forgot this. It's very affordable optic by Sig Sauer. It is the, hold on. It's the Sig Romeo 7S. Um, I don't know anything about optics. This is new to me. It's a green dot, two MOA, whatever that means. Enlighten me, guys. Um, I looked at a few, a lot of overpriced stuff out there. I chose this for two main reasons. Corrections, three main reasons. One, it's affordable. One, it's a reputable brand that I'm, sort of familiar with. And three, it takes regular batteries. They take, uh, it takes one AAA. So I'm not out there searching for any oddball garage door opener style battery. It, it's a silly reason to choose it, but that's why I chose this. Besides the optic, I also purchased this SB Tactical side folding brace. Now, this whole side folding brace ability, this was the main reason I chose, I went with the Jackal over an actual AR-15. I wanted that sweet side folding brace look. I know, that's silly. Get pissed off, whatever. I've seen it done with AR-15s with a fancy conversion that folds the buffer tube over and I, I, I didn't want to get into that. It's not, eh, whatever. When I get an AR-15, it will not have a folding stock. It's, it doesn't make sense for me. So yeah, I got this brace from SB Tactical. I should probably show how this works, huh? So it's kind of locked in right now, as you can see. I've seen other rev other reviews where they kind of just flip this over with zero force. I don't know how they're doing that, but this literally, it's spring loaded. There's tension on here. So you have to push it up a little. So it's like, ah, there we go. So yeah, you push that up, unlocks it, and then you can flip, ta-da. Then you're locked in like so. I do realize this right here, 
This part right here sits pretty much flush with the top of the weapon, which may be incorrect from what I've seen on everyone else's videos and pictures. This apparently should be mounted a bit lower. For me, when I have this, when I have it against my cheek, I can see perfectly out of the um, optic from this position. I've tried it lower. It looks aesthetically, it looks better from a lower position, but it just doesn't work for me with the optic. And yes, I've already removed the, the tiny little riser plate. I've taken this out just to bring this down. It, it just works for me this way. Something else I picked up. Boom. I picked up an extra 30 round magazine from God, who was this from? It says the X mag. It literally says the X mag. I saw the honeycomb look and I was like instantly, oh, I want to buy this out of the box. I can't believe I'm saying this. The P mag actually feels like higher quality than this stuff. The material, the plastics, they're just, they're just different. We'll see how they function when I take them out tomorrow. Now, I know the AR community, everyone's always excited about anything AR related or slightly AR related. Let me let you in on a little secret. People that have been trained to use M4s, M16s, and whatever else is out there, and then are introduced to AR, ARs, really not impressed because it's just safe semi, safe semi, safe semi, no three round burst. It's kind of meh to me. What else did I notice? The, um, the pistol grip. It's a Magpul pistol grip, which um, actually looks pretty, pretty sweet to me. I mean, all right, let's collapse this because I can't even stay in frame. Just stay in frame. All right, it is a really nice looking Magpul pistol grip. And if you look here on the bottom, you can open this. Ta-da, oh, God, was supposed to come over here. There's a secret compartment in here where you can, you know, hide your, your stash or, will this fit in here? No, it won't fit. Well, hide whatever small items you may need to hide in there. What really attracted me to these jackals when I first saw them, I like the overall dimensions. A light AR style lower, but the upper, it's nothing like AR at all. I'm, I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir. You guys know this stuff. Now, I do need your guys' input with, mount, with the mounting position of the optic. Going off of just what I've seen in most reviews, the optics usually mounted around this area. I've seen some slightly a bit more forward, like to about this area. I don't know any better, so I chose not to go any further because if I went any further, this would be damn near coming in contact with the charging handle if I pulled it all the way back to here. Which, ah, it does not come in contact with the charging handle. All right, so I was worried about nothing. I guess it would only come this far back during this assembly. Look at that, I'm learning as I go. You guys are seeing me learn this stuff firsthand. Boom. Another thing that really had me intrigued with this, every review, I keep hearing a lot of the same thing. Not, not the same uh, gripes and complaints, pros and cons, but there's one main thing everyone says and they all talk about how front heavy it is and they're not lying. <clears throat> Holding this in your hand, it, you automatically feel the weight all tip forward. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. How, how the hell would I know? But it's, it's a very heavy, heavy weapon. Oh, silly me. You... All right, we're back. My apologies, guys. I had to do a quick battery change on the old Camarino. Where was I? Yes, you probably want to see what it looks like with the magazine inserted, so I will take these rounds out. You know what? To hell with this. Verify it is still on safe. Yes, it is. Magazine in like so. Give it the old love tap. And ta-da! That's what it looks like with the full 30 round mag in it. It's not bad, I'm gonna have to move this. Romeo box, out of my way. Get out of my way, box. Yes, so this is pretty much how it looks. Yo, this thing doesn't even fit in frame. I can imagine when I get an actual rifle. This is what it looks like with the uh, magazine fully inserted. Again, remember I mentioned it being very front heavy. This is a, there's a lot of weight behind this. This 
pistol. I am very excited to go take this out. I haven't been this excited about a pistol in a while. Um, I say that like I'm an experienced gun owner. I may or may not get you some sweet range footage of my, my Stormtrooper accuracy in action. Drop the mag. Still clear. There's literally nothing in there. Yep, that boy's clear. That is it for the brief and crack review of my sweet looking PSA Jackal. Oh, that's a, it, it really is a beautiful looking thing. Like dimension wise, it's great. Uh, chime in below, let me know your thoughts on this. If you have one, what your experience have, has been so far. Positive, negatives, if you don't have one, do you plan on getting one? Do you plan on staring clear from it completely? Uh, peace and chicken grease. Pew, pew, pew.